Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, the Heyday Farmer, and welcome back to Heyday. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at harvesting expansion materials. Now, it's a very, very easy task. It's enjoyable, and it is a lot of fun. However, you need to be careful of a couple of things, and one of those relates to the actual newspaper. You also need to make sure that you have plenty of empty spaces on your roadside stall as well. Now, let's go and have a look at the actual newspaper. Now, when we open up the newspaper, you'll see that there are a lot of items being sold here, including the item we are going to be producing and selling. And that item is wheat. Now, you'll see people are selling it for full price, and some are selling it for a small amount of money. Now, if the newspaper is actually overloaded and you are going to sell full price, you're not going to be able to sell your item quickly because literally nobody wants to buy wheat for full price. Now, if you are going to sell the wheat, then you are looking to sell it at a reduced price, which means it's more attractive, more people will come and buy it. Now, trust me, people do buy it. Even I buy wheat occasionally, especially if I actually run out. Now, if you are going to do this task, which is basically harvesting a lot of wheat, you're going to need land. Now, I've got a lot of land here. In total, if I go into my shop, you can see I've got 132 plots there. Now, each plot requires one specific crop, and the produce that it gives you here is two crops. So for every crop that you are planting, you'll get two in return. So I plant my single wheat, which I've got there at the moment, and I will get two back. Now, you'll see my silo storage is maximum there of 2,500, and I've got 1,595. Now, I could actually upgrade it, but I've only got 44, 55, and 56 of the resources there. So I'm actually doing this task to try and get a lot more. So you'll see here by harvesting, I can actually get a wooden plank, but it's not all. I can get quite a lot of other materials as well, and that's what I'm aiming for. Now, the materials I may get could also be for my barn as well, so 8, 4, and 5 there. So there's the possibility I can gain a lot more. Now, this task itself is not just the actual materials I'm aiming to get. There's also the experience points as well. Now, the XP is very, very nice. It will allow me to actually level up. And you're looking at a level 107 farm at the moment. Now, currently within the game, I'm much, much higher. And it does take a long time as you progress within the game to actually be able to level up within the game. So it's not really, really that easy leveling up once you get to the higher stage. In fact, actually, no, I tell a lie. It is actually very easy because you can produce a lot more. Now, I want to actually just collect something first of all. Let me just get this crop planted as well, and maybe I can get myself to the next threshold. So let's just get to the next threshold quickly. There we go. So I've reached it. So I'm looking now at 392,001 there. So so I wonder by the end of this video, which is basically about 35 minutes long in total, how much XP will I actually get? Well, the actual experience points you're getting are not really that great, but if you are doing this harvesting task, you get a lot of XP over a period of time. So it can actually add up very nicely, especially if you are a lower level player. So I do recommend it. But as I said, the main focus is not so much about coinage, it's not really about getting XP here, it's about actually growing my crop, harvesting, growing and harvesting because I'm looking for expansion materials. Now, how often do those materials come? Well, it actually depends on when you're actually harvesting. Now, you're not going to get one for every one or two products. You're going to be having to harvest around between like 80 and 100, as an example, just to be able to get at least one of those expansion materials. Now, like I said, it could be anything. But again, it's not that challenging when you are doing a wheating task because it doesn't take that long. Now, actually watching the wheat grow is kind of interesting. I actually can sit here for ages and ages and watch it as it develops. So you get a single wheat seed, you plant it. Okay, it grows slowly. It progressively changes in size and it takes down. Now, if you want to watch it completely, the choice is yours. Now, I think it's kind of useful sometimes to actually just leave it there, just sit back and just chill. So let's enjoy the week growing. We've got another 50 odd seconds left there, basically, and then it will be ready. So while it's growing, I'm going to drink some tea and I'm drinking my favorite barley tea as usual. So cheers, everybody. Ah, that was wonderful. So, watching wheat grow and drinking some tea at the same time. You can't beat it. Actually, you probably can beat it. Uh, if I had myself a nice little hot dog at the moment, uh, watching wheat grow and eating a hot dog, gorgeous. 
Now, I actually do like watching crops grow. Uh, I actually saw many, many years ago a video that was inside a shed watching a field of crops grow and you could go back there every day and then look at the actual field itself and then gradually over a period of time the actual crop started growing and it was really, really cool and it was a live feed that was there for a long time and it was gorgeous. Okay, well my first plot is done. I harvest that. I get one XP and I I get two crops there. My experience points has now gone up, so yeah, I got one XP. So we plant another two, and we gotta wait one minute and fifty odd seconds again. So it's ticking down. So one minute forty nine, forty eight, forty seven, forty six, forty five, forty four, forty three, forty two, forty one, forty, thirty nine, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty six, thirty five. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. I actually feel like I'm counting down until the rocket's going to go off, but there's no rockets in this game, at least not until the new year starts. So, 1 minute 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 60 seconds, yay, oh my god, 60 seconds, it's wonderful, it's gorgeous, and we are counting down slowly but surely, and very soon we will have two plots done, and then we can double that up, and then that's four plots, and then eight plots, and oh my goodness me, it's going to be wonderful. Now, have you actually ever looked at the puzzle now, that you could do with a chessboard and a single grain of rice? So with a chessboard, as an example, you put a single grain of rice on the one square. Then you double it up. So the next square requires two. You then double up, it requires four. And then the next one requires eight, then 16, then 32, then 64, 128, and so on and so forth. So I wonder, by, you get, by the time you get to the end of the chessboard, how many grains of rice will you have on that last square? Now, considering I've actually got quite a lot of land here, ah, if I were to double up every time, how long would it take me to actually get 132 plots covered, I wonder? Well, we're going to watch that as we progress through this one. So we're 7 minutes and 41 seconds into it, and we've got until 35 minutes on the clock. Okay, we're collecting those two weeks. We've got 2 XP, but no no resources this time. So the next four go down. One minute, 50 odd seconds again, and oh my goodness me, it's still going. Right, now I actually do like the harvesting task as such, but at the end of the day, you need to think about what's going to be sold in the newspaper. You also need to be thinking about, okay, the time it takes. Now, in this case, I'm actually doing wheat, so the XP is not really that much, and selling it's not going to be too much of a difficulty if I just sell it for a reduced coinage. Now, I'm kind of lucky I've got a lot of people on my bar, but I'm going to advertise it anyway, which will help. Now, if you are a lower level player and you're doing this, sometimes wheating is not a good one. I strongly recommend actually changing the crop. Now, you could do the corn as an example. Corn is actually very beneficial. <coughs> Excuse me. The XP itself, again, is not so great, but the turnaround time is not that challenging either. And you can still get a lot of expansion materials as well. Now, if you're looking for actual sales, okay, corn does grow or just does sell very quickly as well, but not as fast as maybe some other products. Now, if I'm actually doing a task where I'm planting a lot, I kind of like doing the carrots, uh, I think the soya beans are fantastic, and I like the sugar cane. Any of those three can be really, really beneficial if you are producing a lot and then selling them. Now, once you start actually doubling up the crop and then you get a load of crops there and you've got a lot of plots of land done, it's very easy to produce. Now, as an example, like with the soybeans and the sugar cane, sugar cane you can actually plant those. You can then walk away from the game, go and make yourself a cup of tea, do something else, uh, even go and play with the rest of your farm and then come back and it's actually grown and it's ready for you to be collected.
If you want to go with the longer serving crops as an example, let's just say like the strawberries as an example, it's a big mistake. It's going to take hours and hours and hours to actually produce. You're not really going to get the greater return for expansion items. It doesn't make it any more beneficial actually producing or growing a longer serving crop. You need to actually grow a crop that turns around very quickly to get the most benefit out of harvesting for expansion materials. Okay, we got those plots of land done. Let's see. Will we get something this time? I wonder. Will it be something gorgeous, wonderful, magnificent, or will it be nothing again? So, let's think about harvesting. So, I wonder what will be the first actual expansion material. Now, maybe it won't be an expansion material. Maybe it will be a mine resource as well. Because you can get some explosive options here. So, TNT as an example, dynamite. Maybe you'll get these resources and it will allow you to actually blow up the mine a little bit more as well. So, the possibility on picking some items up can be very, very different. Now, in the case of these crops here, you're seeing it's taking a little bit of time for me actually harvesting. Now, why is that? And that's because I've actually stepped away from the game. So, I've actually stepped away from the game. Okay, the crops are ready, and I need to come back to it in a moment and then harvest it. Is that going to be a problem? Well, no, because they're not really going to go anywhere. They're just sitting there kind of comfortably. They are doing what they need to do, and then when I'm ready, I just come back again. I will just harvest them, and then hopefully I will get something wonderful out of it. But again, we just have to wait and see. So, what am I doing? Where is Red gone? I wonder. Why has he not collected his wheat? But I must admit, it does look gorgeous, swaying in the wind there. Look at that actual animation itself. The fact that it's moving backwards and forwards is actually rather cool, and I do like it a lot. I think it's rather beautiful that this actually looks like this in the game itself. And in many ways, I, I like it. Okay, we've collected that one. We've got a lot of XP again, and now we are planting those. So another two minutes on the clock there. Let's go do something else. <coughs> Now, within my actual game at the moment, okay, I'm a level 108, so my XP that I require is much, much greater than you can see here within the game. So, level 107 requires 784,000. A level 108 is 795,000. So, if I were to actually go through the process of doing a lot of weeding, it would be very, very, very challenging in many ways to actually get to a stage where I could level up very quickly. So this is not the kind of task that will allow you to level up very fast within the game. It's just not going to happen. So if you are looking to level up very quickly, wheating is beneficial, but it's not, as I say, the best way. Still, it does give you some good returns on the products, as I mentioned earlier. Right, now, I was talking about the actual crops that are probably good for harvesting in this case. Now, I kind of like the soybeans, as you know. Soybeans do give me the potential to actually get a lot of XP, uh, plus I get a lot of materials from them as well. I kind of feel sometimes that maybe the return on products is a little bit better when I do the soybeans or the sugar cane. Now, that's not always the case. Okay, it's literally by the number of crops that you are actually planting and harvesting. So it is very, very different. You do need to think about it very carefully when it comes to you actually choosing your crop. Now, like I said, I like the sugar cane because it actually sells and I can sell it for full price. 144 gold coins is very, very nice. I do like some of the other products, as I said, because again, I can sell those and I can get a lot of cash out of it as well. Mm, now the sugar cane, I think for me personally, is my favourite one. Uh, it also gives me enough that I can actually start producing sugar as well, which is, to a certain extent, probably the best benefit for me within the game. Now, when it comes to... Okay, right, next set of crops is done. I wonder, will we get something gorgeous with this time? Well, we're 14 minutes in already, and we've not really got any prizes at the moment. We've only done the one corner here. In fact, we've not even completed that whole section yet. So, are we going to get anything? Let's do it. So, what have we got here? And just XP again. So, oh no, the return is still very, very bad for me at the moment. Actually, the return is kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to get a lot more a little bit later, I think. And I'm looking forward to that. So now we are on the second group of actual 
land that is being where crops are being grown at the moment. Phew! It's taking so much time. Like 35 minutes of growing wheat. Whoa. And I watched it grow and grow and grow. Do you realize I'm actually sitting here like you are at the moment watching the screen? So let's just sit back and enjoy it. In fact, I'm probably going to sing a little song while you are doing it. So, the crops are growing down on the farm. They are they are. The crops are growing down on the farm. So grow and grow. So grow, my darlings, grow so quick. I want those crops and I want them clickety-click. So grow, 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 grow for me today. Give me the resources, I say to you, hooray, hooray. Give me the resources, I say to you, hooray, hooray. The song's not so good, but I'm trying my best. I hope you like it, but I can always give it a rest. The crops are growing, they'll soon be ready. Hooray, hooray, hooray. <laughs> I like singing. I did a lot of singing at work today in my kids' classes. In fact, one of the kids actually told me to be quiet. Hmm. Shoo, obviously they didn't like my song. Right, but those wheat are almost done, and I wonder, will I be lucky this time, or again, is it going to be a negative option for me as well? But we will soon find out. There we go, let's harvest. What are we going to get? So, what did we get? Just XP this time. Okay, well, still no products. But we have now got three sections done, and we're now on the fourth section. And another two minutes to go. So, two minutes before the next lot is ready. This is taking quite some time, isn't it? But I'm actually enjoying this. I like watching it grow. It's rather relaxing. So, let me just be quiet and enjoy. Hmm. Ah, the peace, the quiet, the, the tranquility, the growth of the wheat, it's good. I actually wish that I could be laying down on a bank now, gazing over a field of wheat as it's growing. It could be kind of interesting. I wonder what it's like to actually sit outside and feel the wheat growing around you. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Would take too long. One thing I do enjoy while I'm actually here in Japan is to actually go and take a walk sometimes. Now, very, very close to my neighborhood where I live are quite a few farms. So it's actually enjoyable to go and see these farms and to see them actually planting the rice sometimes. To watch as they are planting the sweet potatoes, for example. So it is really, really cool and I do like it. Sometimes I even actually go and start harvesting as well. So every now and then when the crops are ready, they will invite people from the local community to come on down. And then you can basically dig up the potatoes and then take them home. Or if you're partial to strawberries, then when the strawberries are in season, you can eat as much as you like. And it's good fun. In fact, I like those ones a lot because I do get to eat a lot of strawberries, but they do take a long time to grow, especially within this game. Okay, right, next set's done. Let's have a look. What are we going to get? Lots of XP, and oh, we got our first screw there. Did you see that? We got a screw, everybody. Yeah. So, that's actually not too bad. So, we're now up to basically six plots of land there. Uh, okay, let's go to the seventh section there, so that's good as well. And we've started the eighth, and we've got one screw so far. So we've done quite a bit of harvesting there, and we're up to 19 minutes on the clock, and we've got one screw. So I think that's kind of like a nice return. So in 19 minutes of a very, very simple activity, we've been given one screw. 
Now, if we actually look at the ratio or the return here for these items, now, is it good? Is it bad? Well, I don't really know. I've not actually looked into this. You'll probably have to tell me this yourself. So if you are somebody who is good with facts and figures, why not let me know? So is a return from a single crop up to all of that amount of land in 90 minutes getting one screw, is that a good return or not for my work and energy? Uh, it would be interesting to hear your answers, so why not let me know? I'd actually like to hear that, actually. So, was it a good return or a bad return? Maybe I should actually start doing something very different. Now, for you guys out there, which crop do you actually prefer to grow? Are you like me and you enjoy planting the carrots, the corn, the soya beans and the sugar cane? Or are you a person who prefers the wheating like I'm doing here? So maybe you get a lot of resources. Tell me, so how many resources do you actually get within the game? Are you able to pick up many or do you feel that actually the turnaround is not that good? I actually kind of like doing this task. I think doing it every now and then is very, very beneficial. Okay, it, it does take a bit of time. And the biggest issue, I think, is actually selling the items. But once you've actually got loads of them, it's good. If you are lucky enough to have a visitor who is requesting a lot of your products, then it's even better because you can sell them to that visitor and get a lot of coinage at the same time. Right, so we're harvesting that net next lot there. And did we get anything here? Just a lot of experience points. Not really much there. Oh dear. Actually, I kind of missed it. I wasn't really paying attention there. So if I did get something, you'll have to tell me. But most of my land is now ready so that's almost all of the plots done so from that single one crop we've basically been doing this for about 20 odd minutes and I've almost filled up every single plot of land there just that bottom corner to do so whoa that is a lot of items if I do say so myself and that's kind of cool as well Personally, I prefer watching the whole set of wheat actually growing. Just watching one or two plots is not really interesting. Now, I've actually tried to do patterns. I've tried it so that it actually starts off with one corner, comes down in nice little lines. I've had it going around in spirals. So you can be very creative with actually how you get this working and running. So why not try it yourself? Instead of just doing a standard pattern, why not actually mix and match the patterns, change your land around, and try doing something more interesting? It's really cool. Now, if your main focus is XP, by the way, then at the end of the day, this is probably not going to be the best task for you. If you are looking to do XP, I think actually harvesting products from your machines or actually collecting fruit from your trees is often better. The amount of XP that you're getting from your crops, it's nice over a long period of time. But to actually produce the items and get them ready on your machines and then being able to sell them later uh, also gives you a lot of XP and in some ways I think it's much, much better. So, okay, next one's ready. Let's have a look. So what are we getting? Yes, we're getting an axe there, which is good. That's wonderful. I like that one. A lot more XP as well. Okay, and we're getting a bulk there now as well. Now, you're starting to notice that I'm getting a lot more products here. Now, the reason for this is because I've actually got more land actually planted. So the greater the quantity of land, the more chances you've got of actually getting a lot of more in return. Because like I said, it's between around like 80 and 100 or so, I think it is, for actually getting a return on that product harvest. So the more that you can actually plant, the better it is. Now you're seeing here I'm actually emptying some of my storage because I'm slightly concerned here. So as I'm actually collecting more wheat, my storage is going to fill up. Now, even though I've got a relatively nice storage size, I'm going to sell them off. Now I want to make them as attractive or as attractive as possible as I can. Coinage is not an issue, but the coinage will certainly mount up.
So if I sell these for like 10 coins, that's basically one coin per wheat. Will they go quickly? I wonder. Actually, they will do so. So we looked at the paper earlier and you saw a lot of people were actually selling them for like full price. Now I'm kind of undercutting their option at the moment. So I'm selling for a reduced price. So I'm probably going to get a lot more sales than other people will do because I'm actually selling it for a lower price. So take that in consideration when you're doing this. So full price is not always beneficial. Okay, 25 minutes in, we've got some nice returns so far. I'm very pleased and we've got basically another 10 minutes worth of harvesting to go. My XP is increasing, so we're up to 392,251. Okay, it's not a lot. As I said, okay, so there's one XP per crop. But, okay, when you are doing a lot of this, it really does mount up very, very quickly, as you are seeing. So you can get a good amount of XP if you are prepared to put in the effort. Now, it's not really that challenging. Come back two minutes, come back, do it again, come back, come back, come back, harvest, sell, harvest, sell. Okay, right, let's go quiet. What can I get this time? So we need to harvest these. And what's the return? Let's have a look. No, nothing there. Next set, what are we going to get? Okay, yep, yeah, we got a stick of dynamite. So TNT there, perfect. Uh, nothing on that one. Okay, just XP there again. And how are we going? Okay, we got a deed as well. Yay! So not only is it barn and silo expansion, you've got mine tools and you've got land items as well. Pretty cool, actually. Okay, if you can get these items from a simple task called wheating, then imagine what you can do over a long period of time. Upgrading your barn and silo. Very, very easy. Up Upgrading your actual or expanding your land within your town, very, very easy. Uh, upgrading and expanding your land in your fishing area, very easy. Upgrading and expanding your land on your farm, again, very easy. All through one simple activity. Now, people do say to me, okay, how do you get these resources? You're seeing it at the moment. Okay, it's time consuming, okay? It, it's problematic in relation to storage. Okay, it's problematic in relation to selling. But the return is good. And I like it. I really do. Right, eight minutes on the clock. And I'm very happy. Okay, I've got some really nice items. And we are still motoring. So, gimme, gimme, gimme some more, please. More is good. And I like it. Right, come on, my little weight. It looks beautiful. I really do like the way that it looks as it grows. It's actually gorgeous. Now, I'm going to be redesigning my farm soon. So I'm looking for a new design for the actual layout of the crop land. Now, I personally kind of like what I've got here. So I like the separation of the actual farmland. I think separating makes it much, much easier when it comes to selecting specific crops. So I often advise people that when it comes to planting your land, okay, here we go again. Hang on a second. Let's have a look. Show XP this time. Okay, next one. Let's have a look. What are we getting? Okay, just XP there. Okay, right, what do we get? Some wooden panels there. That's very nice. Okay, that was good. Nothing there this time. Move it up a little bit. And just XP that time. Now, as you can see here with my land, okay, as I was saying, okay, I've actually separated it into sections. The reason I actually like it like this because it makes it much, much easier for actually planting and harvesting. So if I only want to focus on the one product, I can do everything. If I want to split it, it's much, much easier actually separating it into the different sections like this. It allows me to actually like not overplant and it allows me to actually 
grow one specific crop that I want to in one area uh, and then focusing on other areas for the crops that I want to grow there as well. So as an example with my game at the moment, okay, I've used like seven of the squares for tomatoes. I've used, okay, six of the squares for soybeans. And the last two squares uh, I've actually used for the actual onions within the game. So, okay, they're going to be ready in different times. But it means that I've got one section of my crop area for slow, one section for fast, and it makes it much, much easier to actually balance. So do think about that when it actually comes down to setting up and organizing your farmland. Now try not to actually make it too difficult to find. I see a lot of people actually like put their farmland all over the place but you want to keep it within easy distance of finding itself. So try not to have a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit all over the place. Keep it so it's still within distance of each other, but also take it into consideration that your design needs to be very good as well. So don't go too crazy and separate, but don't go too crazy and keep it all together. So use your imagination. I saw a very good one the other day that actually was used as a wonderful diagonal section and the design was pretty good. I think I might actually go back there later and make a video on it because the design was quite interesting. Okay, right, the next set of land is done and we're on the last part of my video now. So 30 minutes on the clock, 35 minutes before this one is finished. <coughs> Okay, last few pieces there. Let's go and harvest. Beautiful. Look at that gorgeous yellow with the green background there. It really does go well together. I like this. Now, imagine if I put some different colors in there as well. It does go together. I kind of like having my lemon trees around this area uh, because it does give that a nice little balance as well. So it is beautiful. Now, you'll see with my actual land there, I've used the path pieces, I've used the walls, and I've used the hedgerows. I've got my statues within the center as well, and basically as I get the ability to level up and get more land, I will then move those statues. But then again, I think the wicker scarecrows keep the birds away, so my products are not damaged in any way. So I can keep collecting my crops, and I don't have to worry about the actual birds or other animals coming and pecking and stealing and whatever else but we need to harvest this but then again I do like what it looks like it is really really gorgeous beautiful 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 have you actually zoomed in on the wheat it does look wonderful in fact any of the farmland items that you plant zoom in and have a look because the actual detail is really interesting Hmm, 32 minutes of 35, so three more minutes on the go. Here we go, last one, I think. So we got some TNT, yeah, that's good. Next one, what are we going to get? Nothing, just XP this time. More XP there, more XP, and more XP, and a screw. Okay, right, basically I'm up to 392,684, so we've increased a bit on the XP. We've got some nice expansion items for the actual barn and silo. We've got some mine items as well, so I can start blowing up the mine and getting some more resources. We've also got some land expansion items. So I'm really pleased about that one. Now, if I did go for the corn as an example, you can see there the corn takes about five minutes to grow. So the time-wise, it's very, very different, but then again, like I said, it actually sells a little bit better. So you need to think strongly about the crop that you are going to grow. Okay, right, well, that's me coming to the end of this video. I've given you a basic concept on what you've got to do. You'll see that my items have actually increased. I'm rather pleased about that one. Okay, I've still got a lot more to go before I can upgrade, but that just requires me to do a lot more harvesting. I've got my expansion materials, which is my main emphasis of this video. I've got some nice little mine tools and land expansion items as well, so that's even better. But I'm going to wish you luck with your task. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you were able to upgrade as well. Give me your views and feedback on what your preference is for harvesting as well. And maybe do you sell for one coin? Do you sell for 10? Or do you sell for full price? Let me know again on that below. Okay.
Okay, right, that's it. Me, Red Knight, signing off for the day. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Please do leave comments below as usual, and I will try to reply as soon as I get the chance. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. That way you get told about any videos that I add to my channel as well. I will see you either this Tuesday or Friday for my live stream, and we will do a lot more reviews and farming, and maybe even some more harvesting there as well building up my experience points and getting more products. But either way, everybody, enjoy watching the wheat grow, and I will see you next time. So take care and have a happy day, hey day now. And don't forget to send me some fan mail. This is my address, by the way. But see you, see you, goodbye, goodbye, and take care.